Reddit, what's your family's dark secret? NSFW. My mother was a groupie for Credence Clearwater. There's five kids in my family and none of know who my older sister's biological father is. We all like to speculate about it except for my mother and older sister. My grandparents swapped spouses. My grandmother on my mother's side had an affair with my grandfather on my father's side. Everyone got divorced and then my grandfather on my mother's side fell in love and married my grandmother on my father's side. Family reunions were fun. My great great grandma went out to dinner with her husband one night. Her husband thought she was looking at other guys and brought her to a hotel room nearby and slit her throat. He left her to die but she survived and then escaped and left him. We didn't find this out until a few years ago through an old newspaper. My mom was our head when she was 14. Her dad, my granddad, tracked a guy down and shot him dead in a bar. My uncle, the protestant minister, was doing wealth management on the side, turned out to be other people's wealth into his pockets, got caught and killed himself before they arrested him. Turns out my grandfather had been molesting my aunts as kids and other female cousins of mine. Finally one of them mentioned it to her husband and he called him and said either turn yourself in or I'm calling the cops or something similar. Now my grandpa is in prison. Totally out of nowhere for me too. He also said that if more victims came forward he wouldn't deny it. Mostly pissed that if you really think about it he got away with it. He's in prison now sure but he was already dying. So just now on his deathbed he finally goes to prison for what he did. Also pissed that no one in my family seems to care and they're all trying to make excuses for him. My great great grandfather once got into a fight at a bar over a woman and murdered a man in said fight. It being the late 1800s. He moved a couple states south and changed his surname. My dad's family is messed up. His cousin told her husband that if he didn't stop smoking she'd divorce him. So instead of quitting he lied about having cancer. When he went to the hospital he told her he was getting treatment but instead smoked at the hospital. This all happened before I was born but yeah her husband lied about having cancer for almost a decade. One of my aunties was a very very ill woman like oxygen to get out of the chair. Going upstairs is a one a week thing if lucky. Her son is a prick. When she refused to pay his drug debt off for the nth time because she had no more money he poured petrol all over the house and threatened to burn her to death. The fumes were enough for her to pass out. He panicked took a handful of pills then panicked at that decision and called himself an ambulance. Didn't even mention his mum. Police turned up with the paramedics. Arrested him and took her in the ambulance. I disowned him instantly. My uncle was apparently in prison for a couple years for SZL assault. No one ever spoke of it and I didn't find out until after he suddenly died years later. He suffered from schizophrenia and when his wife left him after years of refusing treatment. He wandered off into the woods and froze to death. Now we don't talk about either of those things. Edit. Oh and my father only has one testicle. The other one never descended and my grandma either didn't notice or was too embarrassed to take him to see a doctor about it. My family was smuggling diamonds in the Appledon area of the Netherlands from the late 1800s up until World War II they got pretty rich off it too until the Nazis invaded and took most of them into concentration camps. My great grandfather, while on the trains to a camp convinced himself and several others to jump from the trains. As they did they were gunned down by Nazi soldiers and my great grandfather was one of the only survivors. My mom's parents were uncle and niece. Her dad married his brother's daughter. Their family was on the east coast and they ran away together to California. They had two kids. My mom and her older brother. All of us are a product of incest. My dad is abusive and keeps my mother in debt so she can't take us and leave. We look like a perfect middle class family from the outside but boy is it shitty on the inside. I grew up like this. Eventually I was tired of seeing my mom get beat and no one do anything. Also, I had kids of my own now and wasn't gonna watch them suffer as me and my siblings did. Few years ago, my dad is just giving my mom a killer week. Beating her senseless.
It went on for days. Finally I left. Packed my kids up. Dad was beating mom in the garage with the music turned up so no one would hear her screams, and drove down the street and called the police. I was shaking. This man had raised us not to ever speak about the abuse ever. Well. I betrayed my dad and called anyway. Testified in court against him, hardest fking thing to do after 20 plus years of abuse, and he got 10 years in prison. He gets out in 2023. But we got away. For now. My grandfather died in 1946. Before my dad was even born. We were always told he drove his truck into a ditch while drunk. Fell asleep. And asphyxiated when the tailpipe got clogged with mud. He was in his early 30s at the time. Well. I got into genealogy a couple of years back and found a bunch of records and newspaper articles about the incident. Turns out grandpa wasn't alone in the truck. He was with an underage girl, less than half his age, who also died alongside him. Obviously. This was not my grandmother. Comma the newspapers didn't say it explicitly. But there was heavy insinuation that there was some side of the road romance happening when the fumes apparently overtook both of them. I still haven't told my dad what I found. Not sure I ever will. My uncle was investigated for the Green River killings. Years later he was investigated for the Spokane prostitute murders. He was good friends with Yates, who was found guilty, and his saliva was found on a beer can near a dumping site. When I was a little girl, my mom told me to never get in his car if he tried to pick me up. Funny enough. He sells life insurance. My granddad was into dating students before it became something people lost their job over. That's how our family got started. He taught. Then gave extra credit to. My grandmother. My great grandma claimed for a long while that she was a virgin which was why she adopted my grandmother but I later found out that she had multiple miscarriages. IDK if that qualifies as dark but it's definitely sad. Rip great grandma. My grandfather arped and abused my mom and my uncle through their childhood. My grandma covered it all up and he never went to jail. They live next door to us. Birth mum was a prostitute. Adoptive mum tried to kill my dad with rat poison. Grandmother was a thief. What are you? A character from Game of Thrones? My grandpa killed himself when my mom was very young. Her alcoholic mother decided making her 5 stroke 6 year old, my mom, help clean the blood and brains off the wall was a good idea and giving her a beer for helping even better. Great grandmother ran a brothel. Great grandfather was murdered by brothers who decided they were both in love with my great grandmother. Great grandfather was in the KKK. The KKK was quoted in the newspaper as saying something like we take care of our own. The brothers were never seen or heard from again. Edit. Brothers were two siblings. Unrelated to my family. And not members of the KKK. I don't know how they plan to divide time with great grandmother. Also. When my grandfather helped lay out my great grandfather for burial. Nine bullets fell out of my great grandfather. My dad's brother is a pedophilic sx offender. Was caught with over 52. 000 images of CP on his computer. As well as bragging about abusing children as young as 5. As far as I know. Only my mother and I, possibly my stepfather but I'm not sure, know that my real father wasn't some guy my mom dated in college but a stranger who grabbed her and assaulted her. I didn't even know this until she told me when I was a teenager. I am distantly related to the Unabomber. My grandfather's dad tried to join the Nazis. But his family moved him to Canada to prevent it. Edit. An apostrophe. Also I put my grandfather's dad instead of great grandfather because there's no blood relation. My mother was adopted. And we never met him. Only info I've gotten is from my grandfather. My grandfather went away to fight in Vietnam and when he came back my grandma was pregnant with my mom. A super distant uncle in my family used to get in a lot of trouble with cops. My nan and great aunt used to hide him, 
once hiding him in a freezer while cops searched the house. One day he ended up kidnapping an ambassador. Successfully ransomed him off. Tried escaping the country via boat but the captain realized he was a crook and tried to take him to the cops. Distant uncle instead holds captain at gunpoint. And dives off the boat several kilometers off land. Police never found him and assumed he drowned. Decades later my nan got a letter from him. Confirming to all of us he was alive and well. My great aunt had a second child and gave it up for adoption because she was a newly single woman and didn't think she could provide for both kids. This apparently caused a lot of drama in our family back in the 70s and people stopped talking to each other over it. My generation never heard a single word of any of this. Then. One day. My mom calls me to tell me about my new cousin. I was baffled and figured someone had a kid. Nope. That little girl that was given up for adoption was now in her 40s and hired a private investigator to find her biological family. She's since been assimilated into the family and I see her regularly at family events. My grandma's ex-boyfriend got put in jail for murder bc he killed a dude that also liked her. Also. She and my granddad would have quickies during TV commercial breaks. My great grandfather was a Christian scientist minister. They believe that the mind can cure the body, and he told the family of a girl with diabetes. A treatable disease to pray the sickness away. The girl soon died and the girl's father killed my great grandfather in a murderous rage. I knew a pastor who said a spiritual solution to a physical issue is foolish. And a physical solution to a spiritual issue is foolish. It's a shame some people reject medicine. Grandfather tried to axe murder my dad. Cousin is a PRN star. By this time. I'm sure you've heard this all before. God I love Reddit. My great grandmother was married to her first husband. An Italian mobster in New York. In the early 1920s. They had four kids. In 1928. Six years after they were married. She disappeared and no one in the family knew what happened to her. They all quietly assumed her husband had her killed. As it was known he was very abusive to her. Nope. She ran off with my great grandfather. They moved to Philadelphia and had changed their last names. They were always very secretive about their past. No one knew the original family names or where they had come from. Until I took a DNA test and matched with a third cousin that was descended from her first set of children. Her original four children were sent to orphanages because the first husband couldn't take care of them. It was a big surprise for both families and some very hurt feelings for the children she had abandoned. They are in their 90s but it affected them their entire lives. My grandmother had an affair with my aunt's high school boyfriend's father. It became very awkward when my aunt married said boyfriend. And had a kid with him. Semicolon. Why? Because my grandmother married said boyfriend's father. My aunt now has a kid with her stepbrother. On my father's side. My grandfather and my father are both guilty of incest rape. My father is the only one who has been found out though. He took a deal to register as a sex offender. Only because my little brother and sister were about to testify about what he did to them. The family still defended him. Their precious boy. And they shunned my aunt for believing her own daughter. When she outcried that he had uphead her. I of course do not keep in touch. But he is now with a woman. Who's completely brainwashed that he is innocent. With a young, 6 stroke 7, yo daughter. Poor child. Call CPS on her. Protect that kiddo. Found out when I was a teenager that my mom had an affair with my dad's brother and that my brother and I might not be my dad's biological kids. Edit. Just to clarify. It was rough for a long time and parts of my family are broken. But I love my mom and dad mistakes and all. My wife's uncle murdered and buried his drug dealer down by a creek over $37 worth of drugs. He then got a job on the ranch with the creek so he could keep a better eye on the burial site. Eventually owning the piece of land and making it completely private. One of my cousins fondled another cousin when the latter was only 2 years old. I refuse to acknowledge the pedo's existence. Edit. 
since multiple people are asking. The offender was 14 at the time. Me. So my biological father had me out of wedlock. No one in his family knows about me, that I know of. I've never met any of them. And the last time I talked to him he asked me to stay away because it would ruin his marriage reputation. Honestly. I don't care that much. I didn't meet him until I was like 23 so by that point it's not like anything had really changed in my life other than another blip in my life. I've got way worse stories and issues going on so it's a fairly minor blip at that. I've actually got a sister and niece that I've never met but I've internet stalked a couple of times. I sent her $50 anonymously through GoFundMe a while back. But I doubt I'll ever contact her. There's no way I'd ever send a hey it's me your brother. I don't know if our dad ever mentioned it. But he knocked up my mom about 30 years ago. My grandfather broke it off with his first wife because she got knocked up by my grandfather's brother, who was as also married, while my grandfather was deployed during the Malayan emergency. He had stress and anxiety issues the entire time I knew him and I know it costs a part of himself to forgive his brother to keep the family together. The worst part? She named the kid after my grandfather. Tried to pass him off as a junior. The kid is now in his 50s and is in prison. Selling prison art. Grandparents on my stepmother's side paid a hitman to take out my father. Luckily the guy had morals. He met my father and after talking to him a bit ended up telling him what he was originally there for and that he was going to return the money. What a shtty hitman lol. I found out that my high school best friend is my cousin. My parents were freaking out when I brought her over. Not as much as when my dad was best friends with her dad in the 70s and his dad panicked because of the resemblance. Turns out granddad had an affair with her grand around 9 months before he was born. No one in their family knows. And only a handful in ours. Edit. Sorry. I wrote that at 1am and didn't think anyone would read it. Just want to clarify. So. Grandad has an illegitimate son dad's best friend in the 70s was the illegitimate son. Was just coincidence they're best friends. Almost 40 years later I become best friends with granddad's illegitimate son's daughter. I'm female. We were best friends in the usual sense. Nothing else haha <laughs> I'm British. Not from Alabama. No SX with family members. My granddad was just very good at sleeping with other people's wives. This is the only other child we know about though. My parents cousin was a prostitute in the early 1990s and when she died from STDs in 2000 my mother inherited $9. 373 from prostitution. I like reading this with the emphasis she spent it on raising Emmy ironically like that's her style to be raised in. My dad was adopted. But illegally. His birth mother checked into the hospital under my grandmother's name. And then he went home with them instead. My grandfather died before I was born. And my grandma told us the truth a few years before she died. My dad was like 45 when we found out. My great grandmother supposedly summoned the devil to have my great grandfather murdered. It's an old urban legend. But if you met her. It might not seem far off considering she's quite the strange old woman and has a voice like that of that little midget lady from Poltergeist but in Spanish. My dad met my mom when he was getting a divorce. She was his divorce lawyer. My mother is batch tea crazy. Her sisters know but just go on as if she doesn't really exist. None of us see her. She sometimes calls her younger sister to whine about her boyfriend. She'll be 77 soon. The guy is 50. Dot. They all ignored the fact that I was being severely neglected. That she was going through boyfriends at a rapid rate. Every single one was an alcoholic addict and abusive as hell. I once asked my aunt through email if they had ever tried to do anything. Did anybody call social services? Or even talk about doing it? She emailed back I wish you luck in your search. My grandfather was running an illegal abortion clinic in his apartment. He was living alone at that time. The scariest part is that he had zero experience and he was definitely not a doctor. I know he did prison for that but I don't know how many years. What the FCK is wrong with the grandparents here? 
I've been waiting for this thread cause I just found this out over Christmas. Dad's ex-wife had two kids from her previous marriage. One of them, the younger one, was born deaf because her ex-husband shoved her down the stairs during pregnancy. Came to find out that he did not do that. He was the nicest man ever. She lied because the deaf kid is actually her cousins. She f-ked her cousin when he was staying at their house for a bit and had an inbred kid with health defects. She hid this from her husband. This all came to light when the older brother, born from her husband, no health defects, told his dad that he accidentally walked in on bomb banging the cousin. Dad got a paternity test. Confirmed it. Deaf brother still doesn't know. Praying no one buys him a 23andMe for Christmas ever.